Hey, what's up, folks? This is ultimatecropperhunter.com. And I am finally done with my build of my new boat. I'm done. All the boat needs now is to calibrate the compass on my external antenna. I gotta I gotta do the calibration for the uh for the force trolling motor. And I gotta put some stickers on the registration stickers. But the boat is done. It has taken me a long time, guys. I mean, a long time to get it done. I bought this boat back in last year, November. November last year. And waiting on part, it's just doing it all myself. It's just been a it's just been a long process. So I'm gonna go over what I did with the boat again one more time. So if you have any comments, any questions, you can ask about this particular boat, this particular model. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been a beast, but I got it done. So I went with the, with, with the force trolling motor, right? This is 8612 on my folding um, mountain by Cornfield. Confield gear, fishing gear. This is the bridge. Wireless foot pedal, which is hardwired. Got a switch right here. I got a switch for my live scope right here for the GLS 10. This is my wireless foot pedal for the for the uh live scope. Oh, I gotta turn the power on that man. Power is uh it's not connected. I mean uh yeah, I gotta turn the master power on for it to come on. Anyway, I got my Mr. Crappie Hydro Wave speaker on the on the uh on the force. Again, I have my my wireless pedal hardwire and my GLS 10 on a toggle switch. Then so I have the GLS 10 in that and that box right there coming off the back of this. And then from the back of this, I got wire running all the way down to the console to this 8612 up here. And then I have the, the Garmin Marine Network wire coming from there to this one. And they all networked in. Um, and this is a 943 XSV. And I don't I didn't need a hub for with four system. If you got if you got a chop rod that has two network ports on the back of each one of them. You don't need a hub because I went from the live scope to 8612 up front, from 8612 to this 8612, and then from this 8612 to this 943, and they all network. And then I found out that in um inside the um the systems, inside the settings in the console, in, in, I mean inside the settings for Garmin on the network, you can tell it. You know how you turn the master power on and all come on by all of them come on at the same time. You can actually rename each unit and tell Garmin, tell the network who's going to come off and who's not, who's going to turn on and turn back off and who's going to stay on the whole time. So this is my brain box pretty much. So I told, so this is the, the helm. I named that one something else, whatever case may be. So when I turn the master power, like if I turn master power on right now, they all will come on, right? As you can see, they all will come on. But then... Like ten seconds or so later, once this one comes on, once I hit agree on this one, now this one is on. That one said waiting for network device to power up, right? And then about ten seconds or twenty seconds, both of those were turned off. So they're not even they on they on they on sleep mode. You see what I'm saying? So because if you work on everything through your settings here. Our communi communications and marine network. Oh, wait, hold on, let me go back. Um, systems. Uh, it says right there auto power up and auto power off. This station only. You see how it says this station only, only power off. So these two are going to turn up here in about another, I don't know. Two, three seconds. Entering sleep mode. You see how it says entering sleep mode? They went to sleep. 
and this one stayed on. You see what I'm saying? So those two are sleeping until you, until you wake them up. Okay? So that's a cool feature that I found out through playing with the thing. But that's then that. Then I put this knob on. Oh, yeah. My Wave Pro um, pedestal. See that? I added that yesterday. It's a Wave Pro, Wave Pro pedestal. It almost air rod, man. Air rod. I got a bad back. So I need that. I got my external um, 24XD antenna with a, with a head and sensor on it. And so you don't really need this, right? Hear me out, though. You don't really need this. However, if you fish like I fish, like if you want to do a lot of bridge pilings and you know how you, when you when you go into the, when you go up underneath the bridge, of course your nose is up under the bridge. So if you're using just your units, your char plot, they're going to be, you know, they're going to be able to get no signal. But if you got your your ass or your butt hanging out the, outside the bridge, this one's going to be able to pick up the signal, your antenna. And you still be able to stay up under that doggone bridge because your antenna's picking up the signal, so you still locked in when you anchor lock. I didn't have that before or the last, but I had one. I had a point one on my Lorenz, but I think I put that joke on the front, so it kind of... It defeated the purpose, and when I get up under a bridge, the freaking motor, the the motor guy, told him what I had, or the go, or the ghost, which was, you know, couldn't get a signal, so kind of defeat the purpose. But so I put it back here this time, and that's gonna work out good. Um, and then back here, I have uh, my Alice uh, Jack hydraulic jack plate. I put my transducer, my that's a 36, uh, what is it, HD something. I put 36 on a on a uh, transducer bracket. So I didn't I didn't add no extra holes back here. The only holes back here is the one for the transom uh, and the jack plate man on the transom. Uh, here's my transducer right there, and my high speed transducer is inside the hall. You feel me? And uh. That's it, man. The board is ready to go. I got a module in the column, so I gotta, I gotta break that joke in. Here. But according to the video, it's real quick to break that in. That's like the first two hours. You gotta, you can't do more than forty five hundred RPMs. That's a two thousand and twenty one model, right? Twenty one, twenty two, twenty two. I think it's a twenty one. Uh, twenty one motor. First forty, first two hours, not above forty five hundred RPMs, and every ten minutes, run it water up before a minute. That's it. That's for the first two hours. You can't exceed 4,500 RPM, and every 10 minutes, you run it at full throttle for a minute. And that's it. And then for the next eight hours, you can't run it wide open for more than five minutes, but you can, you pretty much in, right? For the first 10 hours, and after that, you know, run it like you stole it, you know, change your oil every 100 hours, 150 hours, change your oil, and at 300, change your propeller. I mean, you know, you got the little stick on the back of the motor. They tell you what to do. They're kind of free. I, I mean, I love the motors, man. This is my second one. The first one was a 150. I never had no issue with the motor. Had no issue with the motor. And I had over... Well, take it back. I, I, I only had like 160 hours on the motor. So that'll tell you how many times I really fish out there. I, I'm Like I said, I'm a fishing ski guy. I work a lot, so it's just... Yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, 300 hours before it took me, I don't even know, man. But, yeah, man, so the boat is done. Um, If you got any questions, man, uh, I bought the, the, the 2006 Triton Allure. I got one. I would tell you anything about it. Um, If you're going to wire it yourself, save up. I mean, I saved thousands of dollars, thousands. Cause I wired it how I wanted to wire it with the gauge I wanted to wire it, how I ran it, how I wanted to run. No dealership was gonna do that for me. I had to do it myself and I know exactly what's what, where is what, and I did everything. And everything is working flawlessly. You know what I'm saying? So if you got any questions about this boat, holler at me, leave a comment, ask a question, subscribe to my channel, man. I wanna grow my channel. You know, I'm all about fishing and hunting, man. So um I look a little different now, too, because I had to cut my beard. My wife told me to cut it. I thought she meant cut it this low, but it's a mess. I, I'm growing it back. Don't worry about it. I look like a shaved chicken right now, like a dug pigeon right now, but it's all good.
But uh, yeah, if you're ever in the Virginia, um, Smith Mountain Lake area, this is my home lake. I'm here now. Um, holla at me, man. Anything I do with this boat, I, I, I got you. Um, yeah. Holla at your boy, man. This is Elton with a cropper on the com. I'm out.